Subject 1VXA1. Culture looks healthy. Closely watching the calcium buildup. But for the next trial. Papa! What are. What are you doing here? I went to your place. I thought I was picking Orson up to take him to school. But he wasn't there. I was waiting there, scared to death. I took him to school. I told you. I don't want you around him right now. I should have known. Haugen told me you gave her the syringe. You really think I could do something so horrible? Was Mama such a terrible person that she deserved to be murdered? Who will watch him while you're working? I'll figure something out. But it won't involve you. I'm sorry you got roped into this. I'm sorry about a lot of things. I'm asking for forgiveness here. For begging for it. Please, Astrid. Can we just move on? I'm not Mama. I'm not looking for you to grovel. I need you to do better as a grandfather than you did as a father. But it's too late for that. I don't want you around my son. And that's final. Can I get another drink? You look like hell. You, uh... need someone to talk to? I'm not interested in joining your fucking cult. Hey, relax. I'm not with them. Haven't set foot there in years. I'm just... talking. Something bad happened in there. With my sister. <sighs> Sounds about right. They start as a support group, tell you what you need to hear. But then, they make you need them. And... When my partner died at the steel mill, they used my grief to rope me in. Assholes. Sorry. About your partner. Yeah, well... You should stay as far away from the Foundation as you can. I can't. What are you gonna do? Still figuring that out. Well, you didn't hear this from me. But I've got some family who I've been helping lead the Foundation. They don't know much. But they say something big's going down this week. My friend Eric's a member. He might know more about it, but... He won't talk. His Foundation-loving wife's got him by the balls. Sounds to me like he's soft. A few strong words, and he'd open right up. I'm not sure I want to piss off the only friend I got left. You could always play the heartstrings. You mean beg? Like some kind of pathetic asshole? Well, when you put it that way, you could always lie to him, trick him into telling you. Like I said, sounds like he's soft. I gotta hit the head. Hello? The double? Just leave me the bottle, Leo. I can't do that in good conscience, friend. What's happened now? It's Astrid. She... She 
thinks I killed her mother. How could she think that? She betrayed me to the police. And now, Haugen's threatening to charge me with murder. Murder, Leo! I just know Haugen won't leave us alone until she's charged me with murder. Maybe you do need this. The thing is... I think someone else did it. Who? I... I don't know. There was someone... Something... On the farm that night. Have you told Hogan this? Ah, she'd think I was crazy. Carl, you have to tell the police. Immediately. If you don't do it, I will. I've got a friend down at the station and... I don't think I should make more trouble. Any more than you're already in. I just wish Ingrid was here. She didn't know what to do. She'd tell you to listen to your friend. Ah, take it. It's good scotch. It deserves to be savored. Not wasted on a wreck like me. Don't let that Hogan intimidate you. Just tell her the truth, and you'll be fine. Hello? Do the ritual as soon as possible. It's getting worse. Have you decided who will be helping you perform the ritual? I want Krista to do it. What? I want you to perform the ritual on me. Rachel, I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but are you okay? Yeah, we don't agree on much, but maybe that's what we need. Sometimes a little friction can be a good thing. Okay. Fine. Now, if that's all, I'd like to speak to Rachel alone. Rachel, during our investigation into Joy's death, you seemed uncertain of things. Well, between Joy and the visions, I... Don't be. I spoke with Xavier. He told me your story. You've overcome a lot. You can stop all of this. You are special. I just need you to believe it. Good girl. Now then, tell me more about your daughter. The house is so quiet without Orson here. You really were serious about keeping him away from me. Yes. And it will remain that way until... You're sure I'm innocent. Have you thought about what you're going to tell Detective Hogan about... what happened to Mama? I'm sure you have an opinion. I think you know what I'm going to say. You want me to confess to a crime I didn't commit? I want you to tell the truth. I talked to Britt, told her what happened. Is she coming back home? I begged her, but she's still so angry. I think it would mean a lot if you reached out. I doubt she would listen to me. She hates me almost as much as she hated Mama. It just makes me angry, you know? Her mother is dead, and her own father has to beg her to come home. Maybe I'll call just to give her a piece of my mind. Please don't do that. We've all been through so much already. I just wish she hadn't left us when she did. But I get why she did it. Maybe tell her that. 
She would appreciate it. I don't know. She'd probably think I was patronizing her. Try. For me. For your mother. I just want to see your sisters close again. You'll regret it if you don't. Toby, what are you doing here? I... I wanted to talk to you. About what? I need your help. Yeah, sure. I heard there was some kind of meeting at the Foundation. You know I can't talk about that stuff with you. Please! I think it has something to do with Joy. I don't know, man. Rachel's not good. What do we have to do? Beg? Look, man. I'm not in a good place right now. And you're the only friend I got left. So just... Please... Help me out here. <sighs> okay. Okay. But you gotta get some help, man. Rachel's not gonna want me hanging out with you anymore. There's this ritual they're asking Rachel to prepare for. What kind of ritual? They don't tell me much. When is it? Tomorrow night. Thanks. Wait. What are you gonna do? Toby! Toby! Rachel, the Foundation, this never-ending goddamn fog! wrong oh shit it's not like you've never seen this before remember no 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 you were too drunk to even help me what do you want from me answers justice blood <laughs> It should come to no surprise that we found puncture marks on your wife's body. The syringe Astrid turned over to us had traces of morphine. I spoke with Ingrid's doctor. She was never prescribed morphine. How did you get it, Carl? Did you steal it from the hospital? Your daughter's lab? There was someone. Or something. In the house that night. I could see them through the bedroom window with Ingrid. They were... These fairy tales again, Carl. I don't know what I saw. I didn't want you to think I was crazy. I don't think you're crazy. I think you're lying. And the only people who... Sorry to interrupt, but you need to see this. Are you sure? Yes. We checked twice. Hey, Mr. Johansson, you are free to go. How? I... Your wife died of complications from her illness. We have no cause to hold you. 
I'm free to go. For now. Calling about. Um, I heard you spoke to Papa about Mama. Brit? Yeah. Papa told me what happened. I'm sorry. Orson! Stay where Mommy can see. How's Papa doing? Not good. He just kept talking about how it wasn't his fault. So, just a regular day? Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about a funeral. I know you said... I'm not coming. I told Papa so I wouldn't have to tell you. I understand. You do? Mama was terrible to you. I don't hold it against you for escaping while you could. Escape? Like how I tried to drown myself in boosts and pills to forget everything? Like how I still want to reach for a bottle, even at three months sober. I didn't escape anything, Astrid. And I'm sure as hell not coming back home to relive it. <sighs> Brit. Damn it! Orson! Orson! Orson? Orson? Orson! Killed him. Better it than us. Uh, what? Where are we? Have you seen a little boy? I've seen lots of things. Maybe one of them was a boy. Maybe not. Nothing's as it seems here. What is that? That's Orson's. Maybe he knows where my son is. How do you even know they're human? Here, take this. I... I don't like weapons. You'll need it. What? Am I supposed to club him over the head? What if he knows where my son is? You can go right up and ask for all I care. But I'd bring that if I were you. Wait! Are you coming home, then? Not while my condescending asshole of a sister is there. Telling me how she gets me. She's just trying to reach out to you. Where was that when I was in rehab, Papa? Look. Maybe you can come visit me after the funeral. After things have calmed down. Papa? Are you there? Y yeah. I I'll, I'll call you later. Eva? You should see this. <coughs> what is that? I think something fed here. Hmm. There's something out there. In the woods. Did you see something, Eva? You've seen it too. Where did you get that gun? I thought I should protect myself. I was hoping you'd show me how to use it. Your mother would kill me if she found out. I should take it away from you. 
She hasn't seen what we've seen. I'll think on it. I said I think on it. Now go on home. We are here to bear witness to our beloved sister Rachel, who has come to spill her blood, not just for those gathered here, but for the sake of all in this town. The withering ends tonight. Now, do you have anything to say before we begin? I... I still don't know why Joy died, but my doubts... My lack of faith has put us all at risk. So tonight, I submit myself to the purifier's cleansing judgment. Are you ready to begin? Yes. You know what happens if the purifier judges you unfavorably? I do. Then who have you chosen to perform the ritual? I ask my fellow acolyte, Krista. Are you okay? What? I... <laughs> Is this your son? He says you're his mother. Orson. I found him wandering by the docks an hour ago. An hour? He was just here. You didn't even know he was missing? There was... a man in the fog. You're a Johansson, aren't you? I know about you and your family. I called child services. Wait, what? You were gone a while. Mama, are you mad at me? It was just a game. No, Angel. I'm not mad. Anyway, I'm sure they'll contact you. Given your family's... history... I suggest you tell them what they need to hear. I lost my ball. That's okay, Angel. I'll get you a new one. Are they gonna come take me away? No, sweetheart. I will never let that happen. Oh, God. I... I don't know. Ah! 
Rachel! Rachel! Are you okay? You were screaming. Did you see it? No, baby. I didn't see anything. Fuck! Somebody help me! What the fuck, Toby? Oh you almost killed us, man! Oh my god. You have no idea what happened here, do you? I... I knew that some fucked up shit was happening in here. But summoning... Monsters and shit? I'm not gonna be quiet about it. No one will believe you. We'll see about that. Make sure he leaves the property. Don't you fucking touch me. Toby, he saw it too. We all did. It's spreading. I warned you about her, Xavier. I knew this would happen. Krista! Are you really still defending her? After everything we just... Enough! Rachel was right. Clearly, we've missed something. Radcliffe's teachings are clear. Yet we cannot deny what we've seen tonight. Go home. Get what rest you can. But Barbara, we... We will stop this. Don't tell me to calm down. You all saw that thing, too. And let's not forget that lunatic who fucking firebombed us. That's enough. The withering has spread to us. The blight has to be stopped. And what about Rachel? Is she blighted now, too? Rachel has been chosen by the Purifier. She... <laughs> I don't believe this. The source of the Withering has yet to be found. Until then, we must remain united, vigilant. And what about Toby? Whether we like it or not, he's in this now, too. Toby will continue to complicate things. He should be dealt with first, kept on a tight leash. He and Eric are friends. I can get him to talk to Toby. Get him to back down and lay low. Good. Use their friendship to get him to see reason. No. Toby is unpredictable. He's captive to his emotions. We need to keep him calm. Humor him. <laughs> Am I the only one who was paying attention? Toby thinks we summoned a monster. That we can control it. We can use that. <sighs> I'll talk to Eric. You really messed up this time. You're paying for that, Sorelli. It's not my fault. You didn't see it. <gasps> always running, always numbing. You can't keep running, Toby. It's your fault. All of it. Me. The Melvin. It's not my fault! Hey, do I gotta call the cops? I'm sure they'd love to get the call. Finally put you away after that shit you pulled at the mill. Yeah, you think I forgot about that? You think this town's forgotten? Look, I'm trying to make it right. You want to make things right? Make peace with your past? You start by taking responsibility. Apologize to the people you hurt. <sighs> Apologize? They should be saying sorry to me. Anything goes wrong in this town, it's always Toby fucking Sorelli. Even when I'm doing something right, it's wrong. You think what you did at the mill was right? I'm done being this town's whipping boy. I'll make peace with my past by doing what I always do. Telling it to fuck off. Is that their grave? I found another one of those piles. Felt like I should give it a proper burial. What do you think did this? I found a dead rabbit once. It was gutted head to toe. I didn't even recognize it, just matted fur and flesh. 
So I scooped it up. Took it home to study. Mama was very angry with me. Maybe what killed that rabbit did this too. The people around here don't like my family very much. This wouldn't be the first time we've been harassed. Why are they angry with you? It's getting dark. You should go home. I don't think it's safe out here. So you'll teach me to shoot? <sighs> I haven't decided. But you said it's not safe. Eva, I... Get behind me. Eva, no! Go home, Eva. But... I said go home. a shitty brother. I know that. I can't change what I did. What I didn't do. But I'm asking you to forgive me. Can't that be enough? Joy? Sorry, I'm late. Another client went over our time. Oh, you must be... Aurora, from the Barnavane. <laughs> Sorry. I had an image in my mind of what Barnavane a social worker would be. Cold, cryptic, ready to snatch your child because you sneezed funny? <laughs> Something like that. I know there are scary stories about us, but I find openness and kindness yield the best results. Now, can you talk to me about what happened when you lost track of your son? It's my fault. I turned around for a second and he was gone. The fog was really thick that day. There is an awful lot of fog in this town. I had some trouble with it myself today. I'll consider that in my report, but that's no excuse going forward. You need to keep a closer eye on your child. Now. About the person who reported the incident. They said you were hiding, away from the crowd. Why was that? Uh, obviously, that's ridiculous. I, I was looking for him. By hiding? Well, no, I... May I meet him? Of course. Orson, can you come here, Angel? It's nice to meet you, Orson. I'm Aurora. I... I... I lost my ball. Uh-oh. Well, where could it be? I gave it to Zane, but he lost it. That's his imaginary friend. Now I don't have anything to play with. Orson, you have plenty of toys. He really does. It's because I wanted to share with Zane. Well, that is a very nice thing to do. Orson, why don't you play close by while Aurora and I finish chatting? 
Obviously, the Bonavana takes child neglect seriously. But I'm not interested in removing a child unless absolutely necessary. I did not neglect my child. I'd like to set a few more meetings to confirm things have settled down for you two. Maybe you can start with a gesture to show that his needs are important to you. He mentioned wanting a new toy. He's always been drawn to my childhood dolls. My mother ridiculed him for it, but I suppose with her gone, there's no harm in it. He has to have some nice memories of her. Maybe a doll that helps him remember her fondly. He is close with my father. Maybe a little hunter. Though I never liked having him around guns. Even toys. I understand you're a scientist. That's a wonderful thing for a child to aspire to. I try not to smother him with my influence. Bad memories from my mother. Oh, it never ends. I'll be in touch soon to set a follow-up. Until then... to be home, huh? So are we ever going to talk about what happened the other night? How did Toby know about the ritual? Mommy, Mommy, you're home! Hi, sweetie. I was scared today, but then I remembered the girl in the stone castle. That's good, honey. Remember, the purifier keeps us safe. Really? Go get your PJs on. I'll be in soon. Okay. He begged me, Rach. He's in a really bad place. I had to tell him something. That's exactly what makes him dangerous. He's taking advantage of you, Eric. Playing off your empathy. He just... seems so desperate. I kept thinking about when we all first met, how we were all... friends. <laughs> Maybe a part of me was hoping we could go back to that. You know that's never going to happen. Yeah. I know. <sighs> I swear, one day you'll let someone pull on your heartstrings so hard they'll rip your whole heart out. I need you to talk to Toby. About what? Get him to back down. Try to reason with him. Tell him he's going to end up hurting a lot of innocent people. I can give it a try. Don't try. Do it. People are depending on us. <sighs> okay. And don't tell him any more stuff about us. About the Foundation. We can't trust him. Finally writing that novel? Something like that. What the hell is this? My testimony. Some reporter's gonna hear my story and finally blow the lid right the fuck off about the Foundation. <sighs> Nobody wants your crazy napkin story, Sorelli. FBI was interested. Next one's on me. We need to talk. About what? How your wife's cult killed my sister? Or that crazy shit they conjured? I know you're in pain, man, but going after the Foundation isn't going to bring your sister back. If you keep this up, more people are going to get hurt. Innocent people. You think I care if anyone in the Foundation gets hurt? You want my little girl caught up in all this, Toby? You know, for a minute there, you had me going, Hernandez. But words are coming out of your mouth and all I hear is Rachel. They're the words of someone who wants to protect his friend. If we were friends, you would have left the Foundation as soon as you found out they killed my sister! Come on, man. You know it's more complicated than that. Is it? Or is that what your bitch of a wife tells you while she's got your balls in a vice? All this coming from the friend who played off my sympathy and begged me to betray my wife? Wake the fuck up, man! The Foundation's crazy shit is out now. I'm gonna make sure of it. And when things finally go down, I don't want you caught up in it. Yeah, thanks for the concern. I mean it, Eric. You gotta wake up, man. They're gonna get you and your kid killed. 
If you can't see that, I'll make you understand. You want me to do what? I want you to recruit Toby. Into the Foundation? That's right. You want him here, after everything he did? What I want is for you to have faith in me. <sighs> what could I even say to convince him? He's seen the Withering too. Convince him the Foundation can offer him protection. He thinks we're the cause. Then use his paranoia to your advantage. Feed it. Show him we can wield more than just words. Wouldn't that just drive him away? He thinks you've wronged him. Maybe if you showed remorse for Joy's death, he'd be more amenable. I don't know, Xavier. This doesn't feel right. I'm not asking. I'm telling you. Okay, sure. Good. Don't mention this to Barbara. For now, at least. Stop this. If you won't do it, I'll teach myself. Eva, stop. You don't know what it's like to be scared all of the time. I do know. More than you think. I'll teach you. Now, take a deep breath. Good. Now exhale. Slow. Now go on and squeeze the trigger. Good. Good. The key is to aim for vital organs, like the head or the heart. One shot, one kill. But that will take some practice. Can I go again? <laughs> it's getting late. You should head home. Oh, and don't tell your mother. Thank you. window. I thought you still had a spare key by there. Uh, could you... Oh. May I come in? Oh, yes. Of course. I'm sorry. I'm a bit out of sorts. Tell me everything. <laughs> 